Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, you're on the live screen. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, all. Good evening, everybody. So once again, we are here to learn the basic like uh, further functionalities of Excel. Till yesterday, we already learned the formulas and presently we are learning the formulas which is under the lookup and reference category. OK, so be concentrated on the screen. Fine. Today I'm going to tell you the another formulas. Till date, whatever the formulas falls under lookup and reference category, we learn index match, we look up H lookup. OK. Now, some formulas which will only the in a Excel 365. I think so. I already told you some formulas which will work in 365. The formula which will only work in the Excel 365 is the first I told you that was that will be the that was the unique function. OK, unique function I already told you. For example, suppose I, uh, here I'm having the names. And I'm dragging it. OK, so these are the duplicates. OK, in this list. We contain the duplicates name, but when we want to extract the unique names, then there is a one formula that is directly that is given in the Excel 365 or Excel 2021 also. OK, so just enter. See now we are having only three unique names. OK, so this is the first formula which I, I, I told you that will only work 2019 onwards. Now the next formula that is I am going to tell you that is sequence. 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 It takes two argument. The first is rows like start and step. So I don't want to mention the rows. How many rows you want? I don't want to mention how many columns you want. I don't want to mention only I want to mention start. It should start from one and the step should be one. Enter. OK, now it is giving me. See it is giving me only one. So now when I went uh, enter here the rows number of rows I want 1000 enter. Just a minute. OK, here is a. See in this like. Uh, it will not. It cannot fulfill the hundreds rows because the like uh, already the row contains some value. I am taking a one blank column com column right is equal to. Sequence. Row how many rows I want thousand. I can write here the 10,000 also one lakh also five lakh whatever you want. Comma how many columns you want only one. So just leave it blank. It it will automatically take. OK, and then it starts one and step should be one. Enter. See, I'm having till 10,000. I'm having the number. No need to drag it. OK, this is the new one formula. OK, now I can mention the column also now. I in this formula I left it, but I'm going to tell you another. Example of this formula that is sequence. Now rows, how many rows I want? 100. And column, I, how many column I want to? Start, step, enter. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. OK? Fine. Now, the next is, again, this formula will work only the in the Excel. 2019 onwards. OK, the formula is that is a very good formula that is for sorting purpose. That is for sorting purpose. Suppose I want to sort this data. OK, I'm going to copy it in a new sheet. OK. Copy. Paste. I copied it in a new sheet. OK, now I want. When I copy, I want to copy this uh, data from here to here. But at that time, I want to sort it. The sorting should be from description. The sorting should be from description. So I can take directly sort. 
okay sort and then just take the table array that is table array comma now the second argument second argument is for from which column you want to sort i want to sort from second column second now in which order you want to sort ascending order now bracket close enter see now you are having the data and your data is sorted that is from alpha but the one mistake i have done that was i should not take the headings so i can modify it it should be start from a2 because a1 contains heading a2 enter now it is not there see fine so i can sort the data with the help of function but make sure you are having new version otherwise the older version i'll tell you another ways there are different different ways for working but first we are learning the formulas and after finishing to by today like uh, by the end of the session we will finish them all the formulas okay we will finish almost the formulas these are the last formulas which i am tell, telling you okay now this is the sort function okay this is this was the sort function now what is the difference between sort and filter everybody knows everybody knows what is the difference between sort and filter try to like answer to yourself also like i am asking a one question what is the question what is the difference between sorting and filtering and try to answer it to yourself try to answer to yourself what is the difference between sorting and filtering what is the difference between sorting and filtering got the answer just try it the otherwise i i am telling you i am telling you now okay i am giving you the answer now sorting and filtering the difference between sorting and filtering is sorting means to arrange the data either in a ascending or in a descending either in a largest to smallest or smallest to largest okay in the case of text character you should sort either in a ascending order or in a descending order in in the case of numbers if you want to sort the numbers then in the, the, you can sort either by smallest to largest or by largest to smallest so these are the ways of for the sorting and in case of date if you are having the dates and you want to sort the dates then you have to sort the dates either earlier to later or later to earlier okay earlier to newest one uh, oldest to newest or newest to oldest okay so these are the main ways of sorting but filtering is a completely the different filtering is completely different why because in a filtering filter only in that case we should filter the data when we want to extract the data on the behalf of condition listen carefully sorting means we want complete data but we want only the data should be in ascending or descending order and so on whatever i like the ways i already told you but filtering means i only want that data whatever i mention the condition so on the behalf of condition i want to extract the data so what about the rest data i'll get only those data which fulfill my condition so what about the rest data rest data will be hidden rest data will be hidden it's not like that ki data will be deleted it's not like that data will be hidden so when we like uh, delete that like remove the filter then data will be unhide okay so please listen and then just concentrate the screen i want to filter the data but
I want only those data which fulfill my condition. OK, so now what condition I have? What condition I have? I want only those data. Whose. GST number like these are the headings. OK, OK, I'm I'm uh, like taking the data from here. So. I should. Enter the more column. OK, OK, fine. Now I want only those data. I want only those data whose GST audit is greater than 5000. So this is filtering. OK, so is equal to filter. Just first you should take the complete array. This is your array. I told you array means collection of data comma. Now include. Here you should. Specify the condition include you want to include this. And this should be greater than 5000. Enter now you are having the data. See. And uh, only you are having that data whose GST audit is greater than 5000. Whose GST audit is greater than 5000. Try to learn in a proper way, please. Try to learn this thing. Try to understand these things. OK. So what is the difference between sorting? So like. I'm giving you one task today you. OK, just like. Write something. Uh, uh, make a difference between the sorting and filtering and just make a note. Make a note for that. What is the difference between sorting and filtering? What is the difference between sorting and filtering? Just make a note and send it to me. Via chat or whatever you have. Whatever facility you have. So send it to me. OK or like send it to your coordinator then definitely she will send me. So I'll check you whether you are getting or not. What is the difference between sorting and filtering? I'm giving you one more example. OK, I'm giving you one more example. OK, so. I'm opening a new book, OK. But this is the book which already I sent you now. Which I sent you copy. I'm creating here. OK. Set the format source formatting. OK, now how many rows I am having in this data? How many rows I am having in this data? You can check from status bar. In a status bar, just right click and tick on the count. Then you can check how many rows you are having. So you are having. See if I'm self selecting it. I'm selecting it. How many rows I'm having? I'm having 28 rows. How many rows I'm having? I'm having 28 rows. And if I'm sorting this data. Is equal to sort. Is equal to. Is equal to sort. And remembered I like told you do not like uh, take the. Heading. OK. Enter. If you wish to mention either it is descending or ascending. I want to mention if you are not. First num column number, but I'm mentioning here the second column and I'm mentioning here it should be in a ascending. OK, and then sort by column or row. Sort, sort by column or row. I put it the blank. So by default it will sort by column. Enter. See now just select the data and this time how many rows you have? 27. Why? Because one was heading. One row was heading. So that means in a sorting, if I sort the data, I will get the complete data. I can copy here. OK, I will get the complete data. No data will be. Hidden now I want to. Extract the data only the basis of the condition. Only the basis of the condition. So how 
is equal to filter same you should select the complete data including the this time you should include the heading now you want to mention the condition of uh, uh, to the gst audit so just select the gst audit greater than 5000 bracket close enter now you are having only how many data you are having see you are having only 13 data okay 13 data because you applied the filter formula and in this case you applied the sort formula when you are you are you will be having complete data if you are sorting then you will be having complete data but if you are pursuing like if you are using the filtering then you will have the data on behalf of your condition whatever the condition you mention isn't it whatever the condition you mention on behalf of that you will only get the data but to make sure the versions are higher because in a lower version this was not there i'll tell you the another ways in the lower version how can we sort and how can we filter the data but make sure you are learning first you are learning the formulas and afterward we will learn the functionalities in excel so i am sure today by today we will complete the formulas all all the formulas whatever the like important formula see so many formulas are there in the excel but we are not learning the complete formula only we are learning those formulas which are very much in use and which are very much useful in our field our field like you are pursuing the cma so in your field the formulas which is very which are very much important i already told you and i am telling you also so these are the formula which are very much useful so make sure you learn all the formulas whatever i told you whatever i taught you and i have given all so many examples for that and i like uh, i uh, one file i already sent you one file i already sent you yesterday i sent you no look up for uh, day before yesterday i thought i think so i already sent you a one file that is one lookup one lookup.xls. Okay. Any query from your side? Any query from your side? Okay. Some formula I am telling you, like which are advanced formulas and which are very much important formulas, right? For example, see. I told you one formula. Presently, I am giving you one explanation, and then afterwards, I'll tell you the exercise. Okay. See, there is a one formula that is care formula. Now, what is care? First, you should understand. Now, what is care? Anybody knows about the ASCII? ASCII, A S C I I, ASCII. Anybody knows? Anybody heard this term? ASCII ASCII. ASCII stands American Standard Code for Information Interchange. ASCII stands American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So what is it? Exactly, you know, your machine understand the binary language. Your machine understand the binary language. But when we enter the A from the keyboard, then a will not enter. If I enter the A from keyboard, then A will not enter. Then ASCII code will be entered. Okay, so I can check the ASCII code of the A, B, C, D. Okay. Have you got the things what I told you? Have you got the things? Again, I am repeating it. One codes that are known as ASCII code. Your keyboard is configured on ASCII code. Now, what is ASCII? American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Your machine understood only the, understand only the binary language. So, when you enter the A from your keyboard, then A will not enter. ASCII code will enter. So, you can check the ASCII code of A also. How? See, in a Excel, the functions are given is equal to code 
Suppose you want to check the A ASCII code. See, 65. And if you are having the 65 and you want to check the 65 character. So, care. Now, what is the like, what is the character of this ASCII code? That is A. That is A. Same thing if you want to check the code of space bar. So inverted comma, put a space bar, inverted comma, enter. See what is the ASCII code for the in space 32. For example, suppose I'm typing here. Okay, now when I concatenate it, there is a one like uh, operator to concatenate this with this. So when I concatenate it, then this this is not providing me the space between so I can put it here the formula that is care. What is the character? Uh, what is the uh, like 32 character is a space bar? Enter see now you are having the space. You are having the space. So you can check this way also now. OK, you can check the enter key ASCII code also. Enter key ASCII code is equal to. Code inverted comma alt enter is a shortcut key to shift it the cursor in the next line bracket inverted comma close enter so your enter key code is 10 so you can put it here ten. now what will happen just check if i am going to set it the wrap text just check OK, it take the enter key after the Delhi after writing the Delhi Delhi. It will enter and then ICMAI. OK, so these are some important formulas while working. Definitely these will be the helpful. The next formula is, is equal to info. You can take the information of your directory in which directory your file is saved. Presently my file which is of uh, on which I am working, it is saved in C colon slash user surface and documents. Okay, is equal to info. Is equal to info. Now, what is the active worksheet name? See, 72 active worksheet number. Number is 72. Fine. So, you can use these formulas. So these are the very important formulas. These are the very important formulas. See like by the use of this formula function, we completed all the formulas. Which are very much useful. Which are very much useful. So how many formulas you learn you get you want to check. OK, just I'm opening that file on which I already written the form. I made a formula list. OK, we look up then I told you the H look up. This was the H look up. OK, and then I told you the index. Then I told you the match function. Then today I told you the. Important function that is unique function. The newer functions, OK, sort function. Sort function. Then I told you the filter also. Filter function also and then. Sequence function. These are the function list. So how how much is equal to sequence? I can use in this way also. So row of this. Okay, I should take one comma comma row of or like hundred of. Okay.
because of the already uh, used so it is not giving me then how many formulas we learn see number of formulas 30 formulas okay it's not from here How many formulas I learn? We learn. See? Okay. Now check. How many formulas we learn? Seventy formulas. I'm having the list, and I'm sure, like. I forgot to make like uh, one or uh, two formula also. But almost to the formula list I prepared here. Whichever I told you. Whichever I told you. So how many formulas are there? 70 formula. Today is almost to the 11th, 11th or 12th session. Today is 11th or 12th session. And in the 12th session, 12 sessions, I'll tell, I already told you the 70 formulas. 70 forms. So do the practicals now. Do the practicals. Okay. I'm going to start today the tabs, different, different tabs which are given in the Excel. Different, different tabs which are given in the Excel. So first I'm showing you. How many tabs are there? How many tabs are there? See. Home tab. Insert tab. Page layout tab. Formula tab. Data tab. Review and view. These are the like tabs. Seven tabs. Seven tabs we are having in Excel. Seven tabs we are having in Excel. In Excel there are seven tabs. So almost we will learn one by one the tab. One by one the tabs. First I am going to start from home tab. Okay. And before home there is a one common menu that is file menu. Okay. I will tell you to, to, uh, with the help of file you can create a new book. You can save the book. You can create the copy of the open book save and save as. Okay. You can check the version of the open book. What it were the version you are having? So with the help of file tab, you can check these things. Now, I'm going to tell you first. I'm going to tell you the home tab. In a home tab, the first option that is given paste, cut, copy and format. Now what is it? Cut, copy, paste and then format. Now what is it? See, first I'm going to tell you about the paste. Presently it is not highlighted. Presently, it is not highlighted. So when will it will be highlight? When we copy some cell, okay, when we copy something, then it will be highlighted. Okay, when we copy some cell or copy some content, then it will be highlighted. So please remember when the when the paste is highlighted. Suppose I press the escape. Now paste is de highlight. It is not highlighted. So how it will be highlight when we copy it? Then it will be highlighted. Okay, now what is the work of the paste? Everybody knows what is the work of the paste? See, the work of the paste is there are three, two types of work. The first is if we cut the cell, if we cut the contain or cell, control X is a shortcut key. And if we paste it, see, if we paste it, so it will, it will, Move from here and it will shift it on the paste location. Okay. But next, if we copy it, here is a copy. If we copy it and if I paste here, if I paste here, then it will make a copy and paste it another location also. So this is the cut copy paste. Okay. This is the cut copy paste. Now another thing. Not only the on the not only the use of cut copy paste this the cut copy paste in a excel paste special is also there
in a excel pastry special is also there how it will work see suppose i am having is equal to upper formula and i am taking this or i am like again just i am making the view larger okay zoom it okay now is equal to upper set i should set the font also okay okay now i am using here is equal to upper and i should take the lower because already it is in upper letter okay lower and this now it is shifting your like uh, file number in the lower letter you already learn these formulas so that's why i like started the sessions from formulas and afterward i'll tell i am going to tell you the tabs use of, okay now this will shifted your this will convert your selected text text into lower form lower letter now suppose you are copying it please make sure you are listening carefully see lower f5 lower f5 and you are copying it and you are pasting it in another cell now what is it it is not giving me the answer why so because please listen see it is taking s5 and here it is taking here it is taking f5 so why it it is taking s5 why it is taking s5 because when you used the lower formula when you use the lower formula so you shifted the cursor after two cell okay you shifted the cursor after two cell so same thing is here if you are using the formula here then it will shifted the cursor after two cell okay after two cell so that's mean when you copy the cell in with the uh, that cell where you have written the formula then it will copy that formula and it paste that formula listen carefully it will copy that formula and it will paste that formula but now you don't want to paste the formula you only want to paste the contents so how you can paste the contents with the help of open the paste special there is a one option that is value okay now it is pasting your value it is not taking the formula it is pasting your value it is not taking the formula just check on the formula bar just check on the formula bar it is not taking your formula it is pasting only the value whatever the formula given us it is not copying that formula so this is the paste special paste value so see now i am telling you like which are the like what are the actions in which we need this kind of paste special see suppose suppose i want all the like description should be converted into small letters okay all the descriptions so i should type here is equal to lower or i want first letter capital okay so is equal to proper proper and select the cell and double click it okay now you are getting you are getting all the companies in first letter capital now you want to copy this value on this value so instead of upper letter you want to shift the proper letter so just copy it copy it you cannot paste it directly i told you why okay if i paste it directly then see it is giving me what because it is shifting the cell range it is shifting the cell range i don't want to shift the cell range okay so just uh, uh, place the place the cursor here and use the paste special and then values values okay now you can delete this na just delete it okay 
so you change the format of your description whatever the companies you are having you want that company should be in a first letter prop, uh, capital getting the point getting the point now second i am telling you the another example suppose i want i want five samples of five file numbers okay five sample because i want to do the random sampling method i want to audit by random sampling method so how can i take the random sampling method see i want to extract the five sample file numbers file sample file numbers so first rand between you should use the rand between 1 comma 28 and take the five samples okay and use the we look up we look up this comma then two because i want file number okay so i am writing here two comma zero enter now you are having file number and you can drag it but the problem is i don't want to change every time file numbers i only want to check this file number okay so you should set it control c then copy paste special then paste value now this will not change now this will not change because formula now there is no formula only numbers are there only numbers are there so these are the ways now you want to extract the uh, uh, company name also so i told you now we look up how it will work just take the th three okay. now these are five samples which you extracted with the help of rand between what is rand between i uh, we taught na we already learned na in the like previous sessions rand between it will gives you the random number so this is what this is your paste special now another example of paste special is now these are the totals okay these are the totals but these are the this is the gst audit now you want to increase the gst audit by 10% so is it possible again take the formula and then increase no just write here the 1.1 why 1.1 because i want to make it 110 it is 100% but i want to make it 110% so just copy it select the complete cells open the paste special and there is a option of multiply there is a option of multiply see now your gst audit increased by 10% your gst audit increased by 10% i am going to give you another example i want to increase tax audit by 5% so i should type here 1.05 because i want to make the 105% copy select the cells open the pay special and from here just take multiply this will increase your tax audit by 5% another example 100 i typed here 100 i i want to add the 100 to all the return filings so just copy it just select the cells then open the pay special there is a operation of add see now your return filing is increased by 100 because you paste to 100 see no formula is there so now you can delete this okay now you can delete this so these are the example of paste special okay now again i am going to give you one more example of paste special one more example of paste special suppose here okay in a gst audit i want to subtract the 
I want to subtract it by 100, 100 rupees. So 100, just copy it, select, open the page special, and then use the subtract, this one. Okay, see? Fine. So this was some examples, okay? Okay, I'm moving ahead. Huh? Next. Uh, I'm preparing one example for you people. Okay, now I'm having numbers and text both numbers and text both so i copied it and i'm opening the paste special and here is an option formats values just a minute huh? Okay, it is not opening that. Okay, no issue. Okay, now when I copied it and I make yes, day before yesterday or like previous session, I told you this is the columnar view. Why this is the column columnar view? Because we are having file number in column, description in column. So this is known as a columnar view. Okay, now I want to make it in a horizontal view or tabular view. So how just Open the paste, paste special. There is an option of transpose. Okay, see now you are having in tabular view. So why the hashes are there? Because the column width and the content width does not fit. Okay, so you can set it format auto fit column row height and auto fit column height. So it will automatically adjust all the column heights and auto automatically it will adjust the row heights and column width automatically. So I'm sure you are learning in a proper way. What I'm trying to give you the understanding. See paste is special. In the paste is special I told you the values and the operations add, subtract, multiply and divide. You can do it yourself multi divide rest i tell i already told you okay rest i already told you now next okay next now this was this is the paste is pay, copy cut copy and paste special now i am going to give you the understanding of format painter what is format painter simply it is the paint brush it will copy your formatting not the contents for example suppose i am having here okay this this cell format is this is 18 size okay and the color is red font color is red okay and it is underlined now I want to copy this format on complete data. So how just copy it or just select this cell and take the brush and apply it where you want. See, this is the format painter. This is the format painter. What is format painter exactly? It will copy only the format of the selected text and paste it on another way for example again i am taking the format painter for this only for this okay i am taking the format painter so it will take the copy of font size font style font color and I want to apply here. Okay, so I can apply the here also. 
on another sheet i can apply see now it will apply the formatting of the copied cell from where i copied it i copied it from here fine now next i am telling you so this is complete clipboard but still clipboard option is remaining what is clipboard okay see whatever we copied now it is showing you that item see i am copy this it is showing me that item so clipboard is a simple board where we can check the copied item how many items you copied next okay next this is the formatting tools these are the formatting tools on font window the formatting tools are there on the font window the formatting tools are there see i want to make it by i want to increase the font by 18 then i can set here the 18 enter okay suppose i want to change the font style then for from here you can set the font anything you can set n number of font sizes are there font style sorry and then it will gives you the live preview this is known as a live preview suppose you are setting this suppose you are setting on this the setting on this so it is giving me the live preview also okay now next bold and italic underline i don't think so ki these are the like tools which i should tell you what is bold dark fonts right thick fonts control b is a shortcut key for bold c control b vice versa it will work vice versa now the next important thing in our field that is the ordinals now what is ordinals i am i'm sure that you saw the first second third so after one st will be the superscript for example i am writing here first so st will be the superscript okay so what you have to do just f2 f2 is a shortcut key to edit the cell select the st select the st and make it superscript open the font window and make it superscript this one okay now you can drag it excel will automatically take first second third fourth see so what is superscript above the baseline the font is if if the font is above the baseline then it is known as superscript and just suppose it just suppose it for example i want to type here the h 2 o so two should be below the baseline so this is subscript select the font then open the font window then subscript okay see okay now it is giving you the font below the baseline and suppose you you want a shortcut key okay the shortcut keys are also there first now i want to select the st okay i want to select the st and i should press the control 1 control 1 is a shortcut key to open the font window and you can set from here super script enter see now you can drag it so control 1 is a shortcut key to open the format cell as well as the font window if you are in editing mode and you are pressing the control 1 then font window will be open and if you are selected the cell if you are if you are selecting the cells and you are opening the control 1 then format cell window will be open just check huh? i am telling you see here i select the cells some cells i selected and i am pressing control 1 so this is format cell window 
the shortcut key control one will open the format cell window. We can set the alignment from here, whatever you want. Okay, but if we are pressing, if you are in editing mode, suppose you are in F2. F2 is a shortcut key for the edit mode. F2 is a shortcut key for the edit mode. Now you are pressing control one, then it will open the font window. Okay, it will open the font window. So now, like I'm going to end the session, make sure whatever I'm regularly giving you, whatever I'm delivering you, you are understanding, you are getting it in a proper way. You are getting it in a proper way. And do the exercise now regularly, whatever I, I also gave you the some two files also. Yes, the previous like day before yesterday, I uh, attached a file here. That was the one lookup exercise. And maybe after one or two days, I'll give you some another exercise. So do it. Unless until you are not working, only you are listening the lecture and then you are shutting down the system. So you will not learn the Excel. There is no use to attend the sessions. It is just a waste of time. So if you are attending the session, then please do the regular exercise. Whatever I am telling you here. Whatever we are doing in the class. Do the exercise. OK. So I am uh, like. Uh, ending. I am going to end the session. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.